current affairs is one thing for which we don't have a beginning, don't have an end. But uh, I think one thing that I have learned from my UPSC journey is that we have to keep our sources restricted. So I can tell you about mine. So I followed a current affairs compilation. I did not follow any monthly magazine because I had studied for only three, uh, three months between the prelims and mains. Uh, apart from that, I was following my, I was reading my newspapers very well. For example, I was reading two newspapers. I think that's something which is very personal to me. Uh, a lot of people, you know, they read their newspapers quickly. But I used to read my newspapers for three hours. But that's a very, uh, I used to read in Indian Express and Mint. Uh, I used to read Indian Express for one and a half hour and Mint for one and a half hour. So, I, but that is a very personal thing. A lot of people, you know, they read their newspapers very quickly. So, three hours for newspapers and when the exams approached, I was reading a current affairs compilation, only these two sources and sometimes here and there I would refer to uh, Kandak Letter by Shekhar Gupta, I think we you heard about it. So sometimes I would watch Kandak Letter uh, whenever I was eating something or taking rest. Apart from that, I, I did not refer to The problem is that we come across so many sources that we are not confident on our source. So we will shift, we are doing my, our, some, some part of our current affairs from here, then we will shift to other source. Whatever source you are choosing, you know, hold your faith on it. Because it will reap dividends. As we say that loyalty reap, uh, leads to very good dividends. This is the same case with current affairs. Only current affairs and any compilation. Uh, I did not refer to monthly magazines because I did not find them useful for me personally. Uh, so I read only compilation. And compilation helped me to cover almost every question. So I can say that compilation did help me. So again, okay, current newspaper and current affairs, any compilation. Apart from that, I think. If you want to add something, that's a personal choice. But I think these two sources will help you to restrict your, uh, restrict the areas from which you'll have to current cover, uh, current affairs, and at the same time, you know, you'll have time to study for other things as well.